This week, let's take a look at Pedal PCB's Brown Betty Overdrive. So this week, it's another Pedal PCB build. Uh, this time, it's the Brown Betty Overdrive or Distortion Pedal. And I've been really looking forward to building this one out. Uh, it takes two pretty renowned pedals by Friedman, which is the BEOD and the Dirty Shirley pedal, which are both modeled after their amps and combines them into one pedal. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You're not only getting amplification modification here or replication, but you're also getting two pedals in one, the Dirty Shirley and the BEOD. The first question everybody's going to have is what's the difference between the BEOD and the Dirty Shirley? Uh, it's pretty simple really. On the BEOD you don't get a mid control for your equalization and you get this tight control here. On the Dirty Shirley that tight control is actually a switch so it's really just on or off. You get your mid control which is really a mid boost at the output. That said these two circuits are very similar. Uh, like I said, the, the tight switch on the uh, Dirty Shirley is just changed into a tight knob on the BEOD. That means they're just replacing a fixed resistance value with something that you can vary with a potentiometer. And then with the mid, it's actually just a mid boost tacked on to the end of the same circuit for the Dirty Shirley. So essentially, other than that tight switch, it's more or less the same circuit with maybe a couple different resistor values. But on the end of the Dirty Shirley, they add another off amp, which is providing more boosts in the mid. I'm not going to talk much more about the actual effects pedal. Um, it's really just a bunch of cascading op amps. In this case, it's TL072 packages. So I think there's about uh, four packages, so eight op amps in here. You're getting gain and clipping on pretty much every stage. Uh, like I said, there's some other stages that are doing some uh, active filtering, like your mid boost at the end. It's also doing the same for your treble and bass frequencies. Really what you need to know is this is just a bunch of uh, op amps in series, just trying to get you tons of gain with controls in between each of them to just allow you to vary the tone. Looking inside the pedal, you can see our nice black pedal PCB board. I also bought the pedal PCB uh, three pole double throw switching board as well. Uh, that's all you're going to get from pedal PCB. Their boards are A1, but you have to uh, fill them out or populate them out with your own components. So you've got to go through that sourcing exercise, but really this is pretty simple. Like I said, it's TL072 op amps, which if you're used to building pedals, you probably have some of these lying around. And other than that, there's really no special components. It's just resistors, some pretty common diodes, and uh, your, your capacitors, etc. So nothing too crazy here. Like I said, it's cascading op amps, really simple circuit. It's just uh, a lot of pieces all together. This effects pedal fits nicely into this 1590 BB case, so it's a larger case. Now pedal PCB does provide just the Dirty Shirley pedal, which will fit, I think, into a 125B case and just the BEOD pedal, which will also fit into a 125B case. I think since they've released this, they've also made a miniature version, which I believe they're calling the Little Debbie, which is the same or very close to the same, I think, circuit, except it goes into a 125B case as well. I'm not sure if in that one if there's you know something replaced for a switch or something along those lines. I'd have to go back and check, but I know they do a miniature version of this now. When I say miniature, it's not the... 1590 BB, it's the 125 B case. The build time for this is probably a little over an hour uh, just because there's so many components. There's not too much tuning after the fact. There's a little trim pod in here that you know you can just flavor yourself. Uh, there's no real settings in the documentation provided by Pedal PCB. So what I did is I just plugged it in and then found where I liked it with the knobs here and then adjusted that trim to taste. Uh, I do like how everything is mounted to the board. I've said this many times in my videos. You know, it makes it really easy to just drop these in. You don't have to worry about your offboard wiring as much, and it's just nice. I would recommend going with PCB mount uh, potentiometers for any pedal PCB build. It just uh, removes that step of trying to get, you know, standard potentiometers soldered in there. Everything just drops in nice with those PCB mount ones. Another thing that Pedal PCB does that I like a lot is they put their input, output, and power jacks up top. Um, obviously, nothing soldered to the board here, so you're not really uh, constrained too much by it. But I do like it that you know it 
fits nicely on a crowded pedal board having these inputs and outputs on top. So just before I give you guys a demo, I wanna quickly go over the controls on the front. I think I've already talked about them a little bit, but just so you know, as I'm not gonna be demoing every single part of them in the uh, playback or the demo. Uh, the first is the volume, so simple level control here. We have our presence and tight. So presence is kind of like a shelving of your treble frequencies. Your tight is just an adjustment on, you know, how much of the, I think it's the preamp gain that you're going to allow through into the next stages of the circuit. So you'll just notice that you'll uh, cut out a lot more bass frequencies if you have this lowered down and hopefully that shows up in the demo. Gain should be self-explanatory. You know, you crank that up, you're going to get more breakup. And then you have a three band EQ. So treble, middle and bass. So with that, I'm gonna plug this in, give you guys some sounds. One thing I definitely wanna hit on is this varying of this middle. You know, if I turn this middle all the way down, so no mid boost, it's gonna get a really scoopy sound. Uh, I wouldn't say it's in line with exactly what you would get out of the BEOD, but it's gonna be more like the BEOD than maybe the Dirty Shirley. And then as I crank it, it's gonna give you kind of the high end of what the Dirty Shirley can give you. So that big uh, high mid gain, mid boost, um, sound coming out of the pedal. So I hope you guys like that demo of Pedal PCB's Brown Betty Overdrive or Distortion. Um, I will say that I don't have too many Plexi style pedals like this in my collection, especially ones with this much control, specifically the three band EQ. Definitely something I gotta learn to play with a little bit better. Um, other than that, I'm really happy with how this pedal turned out. Like I said, it was only about an hour of a uh, build. I didn't really have to you know, get into anything too serious. I'm really happy with my uh, design on front as well. I've called mine the Betty Boop Overdrive. 
killer decal, really happy with how it turned out and just happy with the pedal all over. As for cons for this pedal, there's only one thing I gotta mention and that's there is a little bit of noise that sits on it. Definitely nothing you would notice and I'm not convinced that it's totally because of the, the PCB. I think it's probably more just because there's so much gain in this pedal. You know, like I said, there's there's multiple gain and clipping stages here. So for some noise or some, some buzzing to leak through, I, you know, I'm not surprised at all. It's definitely nothing that's going to, you know, be extremely noticeable while you're playing. But if you're just in a small room like I am when you're doing some recording and you don't have it, uh, you know, fully engaged or you're not playing, you'll definitely notice a little bit of a hum. So that's where I'm going to leave it this week. If you haven't subscribed, definitely do that down below. Make sure to sign up for notifications like, dislike, all that stuff. I've got tons of more reviews coming out, guys. I uh, just got to get some more time to sit down and do some videos. Uh, but with that, we'll see you next week and uh, definitely check out some of these pedals. Thanks, guys.